comes to it, how you know, as a professional, these guys are just so good. And uh, you know, I got it. I think a little bit exposed about how if you don't have you know, the right flow, for me, and how much I play, and um, you know, my experience in the game, it's, it's hard to kind of self-correct. Uh, these guys can figure it out, and that's why you know. A guy like Cameron Champ, who really didn't have much going on today, scrambled and found a way to make the cut. And, uh, and Martin's working on stuff to come back next week in Portland and having a good round and a good tournament. And why he's got his tour card. So for me, particularly, it just I'm really proud of the first three rounds that I've had in this tournament, and uh, I will have a short memory on this if I come back next year. Um, but it's all about continuing to raise awareness for the guys like HandleWeb.com, uh, the game of golf in general, and. and uh, take advantage of that opportunity. You might not have been able to correct it today, but when you are going right off the tee as you did off today, what's usually the cost? What's usually the problem for you? Oh, uh, if I knew the answer to that question, <laughs> I probably would uh, be in a better mood right now. <laughs> but uh, probably just getting get my club blow into inside and get quick with it and start spraying it. Where I start lifting up uh, on my follow through, which uh, makes the ball go right to. So, those are the two things that some guys who have watched my swing have kind of pointed out as something I could work on and be aware of. But in the moment, it's hard to feel that you know, in pressure situations. What was your overall impression of uh, the length of Cameron Champ? It's, un it's unbelievable. I mean, you see where he, the lines he's taking off the tee and the clubs he's hitting coming in the green. And just the overall the sound of the, the club coming off his face, off the club head, is pretty crazy. So uh, I think I saw some other web.com guys, you know, like towards the end of our round, sneak out and watch him on Big 17 and 18. So everybody's in awe of, you know, just the raw athlete he is and how far he can hit the ball for sure. The next, uh, next turn, not turn, but the next thing that you're going to be golf wise is plays. Um, How do you just about the same as? <laughs> yeah. <for your> <laughs> uh, are you gonna make a concerted ever to just like kill everyone on that trip on that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, usually when I have a bad game in the court, I come back the next game and figure it out. So yeah, whoever, whoever is not in that uh, foundation or however the charity term, whoever's in my group should be feeling pretty good about a chance. <laughs> is that kind of difficult to not have a chance? To, I mean, probably you can come back tomorrow and try to make a man. Tournament wise, you gotta wait. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean, yeah, this is in my in my day job, and it, obviously I gave it everything I had and had fun with it. So I'll probably be uh, thinking about it as I drive home and later tonight. But at the end of the day, I had an amazing opportunity to play with these pros and gave it my all. And uh, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of why I came out here. How much golf were you playing leading up to this tournament? How much did you get in practice? Uh, I played in a Tahoe tournament, but I played probably, there were not as much as um, as I would want to, just knowing um, my wife had a third baby uh, very recently and, and whatnot. So um, maybe one of these days I won't have a baby in the summer. I don't know what the <laughs> schedule is between the finals and, uh, and this tournament that I can get a game plan of how I'm going to get my game and tip top shape, you know, the best that I can play uh, and see if I can put two solid rounds here. You're tempted not to ask your parents not to come follow you around? That was the first time they were here, right? No, I usually beat my dad on the course. So I actually <laughs> invited him and I was going you know, to make sure he was there because I usually bring the best out of me, but uh, a little different situation when they're outside the ropes, for sure. Uh, but it was uh, it was fun to see them walk out of here. My mom was talking about how hot it was, but it was good. Was there any point where you were I mean, you're usually very poised, I and mean, you were today even. But was there any point where you really, that frustration sort of reached? Walking down the third hole when I knew what two bad swings meant in terms of me trying to chase the cut. So that's a t especially that early in the round, that's tough. Uh, it's a tough feeling. I felt so good on the back nine yesterday. Thought I you know, played the first hole, hit some good shots, just missed a tough putt on the second hole for a bogey, and then from there, uh, thought I still had a chance to kind of you know, rally. And, Hit two out of bounds, walking down that fairway, seeing all the, the, the fans looking, don't see a ball. And my third tee shots on the other side of the, of the fairway. Um, it, was a, it was a long walk, that 600-yard hole, for sure. Yeah. How would you rate Johnny's performance? 
Uh, Johnny was amazing. Uh, if I, I can't blame any of my performance today on the caddies. Yesterday he uh, he came through showing today. So if I if I come back out here, he'll probably be back on the bag. Do you, sure. do you expect to come back next year? Expect to play? I don't know. Just you know, obviously a lot of conversation, a lot of time before that. But uh, uh, this opportunity was amazing, and it was a. Uh, it was a week or two days being around, you know, the guys that, that I was walking down the range, everybody was just so welcoming and, you know, giving me praise about how I played yesterday and thanking me for coming out and the whole deal. So just the reception you get out here from the from the, the professionals, the fans, the whole Bay Area that shows up, um, it's, it's amazing. And, uh, yeah, if the calendar's open. Hopefully I can get back out here for sure. And, you know, when it comes to my participation this year, um, I was made aware of uh, Scott Harrington, who uh, is a professional in Web.com counselor uh, that has taken a, a leave to be with his wife who's battling cancer. And um, this was an opportunity for me. Uh, obviously, there's no words to, uh, I can't put in the words, you know, the thoughts and, and feelings around, you know, the, what their family's going through and whatnot. Um, but as a, I come out here and play with these professionals, it's about raising their notoriety in terms of the game of golf. Uh, and a guy, Scott Harrington, who's not out here right now, uh, I had a chance to talk to him on the phone this morning um, and let him know um, as part of my participation in, in the tournament this year in the LMA Classic that I was going to donate 25000 to uh, his the, the GoFundMe page that's there to support his family as his wife is battling. Um, the LMA uh, tournament is donating uh, 15000 as well. And uh, we encourage anybody who's a fan of the game and um, who uh, you know, appreciate what these guys do every day to go to his GoFundMe page as well, um, Scott and Jennifer Harrington, um, and donate what you can to help them get through this tough time. So uh, it, was a, it was a good conversation this morning I had with him just to let him know, you know, obviously everybody out here on the tour and everybody I've talked to that knows him uh, says so many great things about him and his family and are uh, thinking about him during a tough time right now. Thank you very much. Thanks, Scott. I'm going to bring uh, Cameron Champ and Mark Trainer out.